Hi guys, it is an excellent day because we have another most amazing top 10 for you. I'm Rebecca Felgate and today we are going to be doing top 10 celebrities you wouldn't recognise today. Ooh. But first up, before we get launching into that, I want to hear from you guys. What celebrity would you be for a day if you could and why? Let me know in the comments below. I personally would love to be Taylor Swift for a day because I'd get to wear all the sassy outfits on stage and hang out with her super cute cats. So today we are talking about celebrities that you would not recognise today from the day that they shot to fame. You could literally be walking past them in the street, you wouldn't stop to take a selfie because you wouldn't know who they were. So launching in at number 10 is Haley Joel Osment. Who is he I hear you cry? Well, he is the kid that totally freaked out Bruce Willis and saw dead people in the sixth sense. Haley Joel Osment starred as a young Forrest Gump with Tom Hanks in AI Artificial Intelligence with Will Smith and he delivered one of the most recognisable lines in a movie ever in The Sixth Sense. I see dead people. I'm guessing he also saw a whole lot of cash. Unfortunately, as Haley got older, his career took a nosedive and in 2003 he was convicted of drunk driving with possession of drugs. Is this the peril of being a child star? So in at number 9. Do we recognise this lady? It's Olivia Newton-John, aka Sandy from Greece. Now Olivia Newton-John absolutely shot to fame in 1978 when she starred in Greece. Now she's 67 years old and is still looking like a major hun, but a little bit different. Since gaining worldwide fame as Sandy, Olivia has continued to have a successful career as a musician and her change of look in Greece from conservative Sandy to vampy Sandy allowed her to get more raunchy with her image in real life. Olivia is best known for her role in Greece, with her look as Sandy becoming culturally iconic. Now, as she ages, the movie remains popular, so it's always surprising to see her in the modern day. However, as a woman who is almost 70 years old, I think she's still looking stunning. Power to you, Olivia. Okay, so things are getting a little bit crazier from here on out of our top 10 celebrities you wouldn't recognise today. At number 8, we have the kid from Never Ending Story. So many people I know grew up absolutely loving The Never Ending Story. It is such an 80s classic and still a great film today. Although I have to say, The Luck Dragon is kind of creepy. What's also creepy is the way this kid turned from a kid into like an adult with a big beard but that's just time for you. The kid who played the iconic child Bastion, the boy who discovers the book, is now a far cry from the cute kid we used to know. Actor Barrett Oliver was 11 when Never Ending Story came out in 1984. Now he's in his early 40s and looks a little bit different. AKA, he doesn't look the same, like, at all. If you saw him in the street, I'd be like, hey, guy with a beard, not, oh, Bastion. Now, Barrett went on to leave the movie scene aged around 16, but now focuses on his career as a photographer. Moving in at number seven, we have Lark Voorhees, AKA Lisa from Saved by the Bell. Lisa was a primary character and the object of Screech's affections. Now, Saved by the Bell was a massive hit after NBC picked it up from Disney in the late 80s and it ran until 1995. Nowadays, Lark is still acting, but her peak was certainly in her Saved by the Bell days. Plus, now she looks just like a little bit different. Who are you, Lark? A holiday special here for you at number six. It is the kid from The Grinch. Now this actress is still famous today, but I had no idea that she was cute little Cindy Lou from The Grinch. You remember The Grinch. I watch it every Christmas and it has a cute little girl with a button nose and crazy hair. You will never guess who she is today. Taylor Momsen, aka Jenny from Gossip Girl and the lead singer from rock band The Pretty Reckless. Taylor also models, but she spends more time today focusing on her music career. What a transformation! In at number five, a lady who played one of my favourite movie roles ever. It's Renee Zellweger. Best known for her roles in Chicago, Jerry Maguire, and of course Bridget Jones's Diary, Renee Zellweger was very much the sweetheart of the noughties. She absolutely shot to fame in the 2001 Bridget Jones's Diary and in the 2004 sequel Bridget Jones The Edge of Reason, two movies that helped her become the icon of the decade. Things have changed a little bit in the face department for Zellweger, who is now pretty unrecognisable from the slightly chubby singleton we all knew and loved. To be fair, it has been almost 15 years since she began the role and over 10 years since the last movie. 
Now Renee will be back with Bridget Jones in 2016 which is very exciting but will we recognise her? Now on her change of appearance Renee said, I'm glad folks think I look different, I'm living a different, happy more fulfilling life and I'm thrilled that perhaps it shows. My friends say that I look peaceful, I'm healthy, for a long time I wasn't doing such a good job with that. And to be honest, you know what, if Renee is feeling happier in herself, who are we to comment on her appearance? Good on you Renee. So swinging in at number 4, an icon from the swinging 60s, Brigitte Bardot. Brigitte is a French former actress, model and singer who absolutely shot to fame in the 50s and 60s becoming something of a pin up. By the time Brigitte quit show business in 1973, she had starred in 47 films, recorded over 60 songs and had become an animal rights activist and had been married three times. Brigitte is now over 80, living with husband number 4 and is spending her life as somewhat of a recluse. Plus you know, she also looks pretty different but you know what? That's age for you. She was a mega babe in her day. Getting weird at number 3, have you guys seen Lil Kim recently? I guess if you had you wouldn't exactly know who she is, being that she seems to have morphed into someone completely different. Lil Kim aka Kimberly Dennis Jones started her hip hop career in the mid 90s, however the peak of her career was between 2001 and 2003 as she released the notorious KIM and La Bella Mafia which went platinum. Kim also featured with Christina Aguilera, Pink and Maya in the hit revival of the song Lady Marmalade which even went on to win music video of the year at the MTV Music Awards in 2002. When I think of Lil Kim, I think of blonde, bootylicious, sometimes wearing blue contacts but now she's kind of got black hair, her skin seems visibly lighter, she's ditched the contacts altogether, she's had some nose work done. I think she looks like a completely different lady. Two absolutely crazy transformations in the top two spots. At number two, it's Jonathan Lip Nicky, aka the kid from Stuart Little. Born in October 1990, Jonathan Lip Nicky was first seen in 1996 in Jerry Maguire as Rene Zellweger's son. Then in 1999, he hit the big time of Stuart Little, where he played a boy who adopts a mouse, a role which he reprised in 2002. Now Jonathan is in his mid 20s and it feels kind of creepy saying this but he is a strapping man. He has developed muscles, he is no longer the kid we know from Stuart Little and I'm kind of creeped out but he's hot. However no transformation is quite as glorious as the person occupying our number one spot in our top 10 celebrities you would not recognise today. Can we get a big Wingardium Levios for for Matthew Lewis aka Neville Longbottom from the Harry Potter franchise? Shooting to fame as Neville Longbottom in the Harry Potter franchise, Matthew Lewis was first seen on the big screen in 2001 when he was just 11 years old. Matthew now considers the number 11 to be his lucky number and even has a number 11 tattoo, which I would kind of like to see. Another interesting thing about Matthew is that he looks totally different from as he did back when he was 11 years old, like U-turn transformation. It even sparked the Buzzfeed mem Neville Longbottomed, aka celebrities who have Neville Longbottomed. So people include Matthew Lewis, the king of Neville Longbottoming and Calvin Harris. Basically it means going from being slightly less attractive to king of fitness, yes. 5,000 million billion zillion trillion points to Gryffindor, oh yes. So that's all we have for on the top 10 celebrities you wouldn't recognise today. Did I miss anyone out? What would you like us to film in the future? Let me know in the comments below. I'm Rebecca Felgate, I love most amazing top 10, so be sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel and check out our other videos. See you next time.